Hi, I have a scripture from the Bible. Unfortunately, I don't have the book, the chapter, and the chapter and the verses. So I'm going to say it anyway. I will look it up and I will be back to back this up with the Bible scripture as soon as I can. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Well, that's a big wow for me, because I'm thinking that if I seek out God first in my life, however that might be for me personally, that between me and myself and God, that he's going to be with me a whole lot more. At least I pray so. But I also want to be with people more. That's the big difference between myself now and maybe two or three years ago. I really like the whole concept of being with God alone first. And then I want to be with him even more when I'm with people. But here's the, the here's the thing. It's not always easy to be with people when you're out of church. In church, it's easy. But when you're outside of the church, whether you're shopping in your home and people stop by to visit, if you're out just socializing with others around you at a party or an event, it's not that easy to bring up basically the social life of living about the subject of God alone because that's kind of how it is right the social life and way of living what does that mean it means that the social life and way of living living is not necessarily to discuss and have a conversation about Jesus Christ our God and Savior alone it's not what people want to think about it's not what they want to um, discuss or play with the idea that maybe God is an intentional mistake or maybe a fictional idea or a person that was here, a man or a prophet. He was just kind of like a subject, a story in a book called the Bible. Well, that's not true at all. He is and was God. He has always been God. He's not fictional. He's real. He is infinite God alone, Jesus, with God Jehovah and God the holiness of who he is, the Holy Spirit. They are one God, yet three separate in presence as one God alone. Now that's a pretty much great discussion point right there don't you think just to like open up something like that but people will stand there and stare at you and not say one word I guarantee you that because I've had it happen to me more times than not why is that even people around me who believe in Jesus Christ as God alone don't necessarily want to discuss the situation that they are in with God's relationship in their life personally why because they don't have an open discussion with Almighty God Jesus alone through the Holy Spirit going on all the time throughout the day or even once in a while they don't know what that means I didn't know what it meant until I started praising God and praying on a daily basis about 10 10 years ago maybe a little more I began to spend my time more of my time with God just praising him I didn't understand the whole concept about the Holy Spirit and that he was here to help us to communicate with the great God Jesus and God the Holy Spirit because through the holiness of the Holy Spirit, who he is, is God alone too, with God Jesus and God Jehovah, he can give us information from God, Jehovah and God Jesus. But he is God too, so he can also help us to receive information from God Jehovah, but also help us to hear him and talk with him at the same time in a two-way conversation. I hope I said that okay. It's a two-way conversation you can have with God Jehovah through the Holy Spirit. Two ways. There, I said it better. God can have a conversation with you, with me, with anyone. Jesus said it. He was here. I will send you a comforter, a teacher, a guide, someone who, who will replace me. I will not leave you here as orphans. I will send the Holy Spirit. It's in the Bible, folks. Go read it in the New Testament. So I thought to myself many times, God, why can't I hear your voice? Why can't I not hear you communicate to me? I want that two-way conversation. I love you. I miss you. I want to be with you. I want to talk with you. I want to hear your words of wisdom and guidance to me that I need so much. So I spent time with him and he began to teach me how to do that. Now, I can't give you all of the information right now because it's kind of long, but at the same time, it's consistency. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Jesus, help me to hear your words back from you alone through the Holy Spirit to help me get through this day. Anything that I can hear from you, God, Jesus, I pray and ask this in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. And then wait for long, for just a minute, for just long enough to know if God's going to send you something to get you through that day. He will, I promise you. So know that Jesus Christ is with us through the Holy Spirit. Be praising him practicing every day being with him in praise and honor and praying for everybody around you and asking him for help and then pray and ask it in Jesus Christ God's name and wait 
Be patient enough to wait to hear words that come into your heart immediately. And then just, just say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for that. I claim that in Jesus Christ, God's name. Always thank him for it and praise him and worship him. Give him credit for anything positive and awesomely, awesomely awesome that comes into your life from him through the Holy Spirit. It's the best way to get going with him to have that conversation. I have that now and I love it. But I'm also very cautious and careful. I don't want my thoughts to take over. I only want God's words from him alone through the Holy Spirit to be his alone. Then I know I'm right on track. I'm right on line with him. So don't hang up the phone yet with God, Jesus, and God, Jehovah, yet. The Holy Spirit will get you in touch. I promise you. So remember, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. That's one of them, and that's a biggie. So go do your thing with God, Jesus, now. Spend some time with him. Read the Bible daily. Praise him daily. Tell him he's God, Jesus, alone daily. With God, Jehovah, and God, the Holy Spirit. They are one God, yet three separate in the presence of one God alone still. Take care. God bless. I'll be back later.